Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because today we are taking a look at the all new 2019 Thor Palazzo. This is model 37.4. Now, the Palazzo is Thor's entry level diesel pusher, but the 37.4 is a step above because it has the bigger, beefier chassis and a 340 horsepower Cummings engine. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside, then I'm going to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I, dis I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. The world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today we're checking out this all new Palazzo 37.4. That's the model number, but the actual tip to tip length is 38 feet 9 inches. And this is on a custom Freightliner chassis with a 300, with a 6.7, 340 horsepower Cummings engine and a 2500 Allison transmission. Let's get started up front. You do have a little bit of storage up there. Right here is where your fuel station is. You have that on both sides, so it's gonna be easy to access. And check out these nice big 22.5 Michelin tires. But if you look at the whole thing, it is full body paint, absolutely beautiful. And what I'm a big fan of with the Palazzos, they're one of the only diesel pushers. There's a few others out there. But I absolutely love this mid-entry door because a lot of people don't like that front bus style door. You have a little bit more storage here. A TV on the outside. Frameless dual pane windows are standard. And what I like is how it has two awnings. They're armless awnings with wind sensors. So if it blows too hard, the awnings will automatically retract check out this storage now to keep the price point down this is made on what's called a straight rail chassis not a raised rail chassis when you get to your Thor Arias and stuff like that it has some nice slide out trays but you're also looking at a thirty forty thousand dollar price increase even though there's no slide out trays and even though that straight rail's there, you still have a ton of storage. This is just your, uh, some of your water tanks and everything. This is where you fill up your fresh water tank. And then here is your batteries. And this is where like your inverter is. Also notice right there, this comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel. And it is an option to get two more solar panels added for 300 total watts. Coming around the back, it does have a tankless instant hot water heater. Oh, and the water, the fresh water tank and the fuel tank and all the other specs, I'll have that listed in the description below. Coming around the back, you do have a 10,000 pound hitch backup camera up there and you do have a fully walkable one-piece uh, TPL roof of course it's a 50 amp motorhome and that's where you plug it in and Thor really tried tries to utilize of uh, utilate <laughs> Thor really tries to use as much storage as possible whenever they can get some here's where you fill up your DEF and there is a gauge right up front on your dash to let you know when you do need more DEF. What word was I trying to say? Utilize. 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 Thank you, Jen. Uh, here's where your uh, docking station is. You can dump your black and gray tank right there. Outdoor shower, hot water bypass. Here's the other side of your storage. Oh, same right here. I actually like this feature. Look at that, because there's a little thing there. So if you have like a party table or a Yeti cooler, uh, that's how you do that. This is gonna be a propane. And this is going to 
be your access panel. And right here, it's a little lever to get to your generator. Here's your generator. It's a diesel coming 6000 generator. Great. And little geekiness, I absolutely love this emblem. Now, somebody told me this emblem lights up, but I don't know if it does. And the outside of this motorhome looks incredible. Oh, one last thing. The new headlight designs for 2019, I'm telling you, I did not like the Palazzo's 2018 back. This, it's stupid. I absolutely love these headlights. It just makes it look aggressive and cool. You have the LED lights here. It's just a badass motorhome. The outside of this RV looks great, but I'm telling you, it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Check out this huge living arrangement. I absolutely love it. But, Jen, we are actually going to start up this way at the chassis area. This is awesome. You have your suspension right here. It is air ride, which is nice. You have your navigation radio dash, air brakes just like this. Here's your Allison transmission, DNR, drive, neutral, reverse. You have all your components up here. I love this area where it flips up just like that. You have your mirrors on that side. And both of these seats, they do swivel. Then, again, why a lot of people love this unit is because that mid-entry door, because when you have the front bus style door and you're use, utilizing this bunk over the cab, you cannot exit the RV. Where this, the door's over there, and then the drop down is in this multiplex wiring system. Check that out. That is a nice big bunk over the cab, and you are able to hold 500 pounds. Here in the living area, I absolutely love this. You have a nice sofa, and it is tri-fold for an adult-sized guest to sleep on. Real time. Oh. That was real time, not fast forward. Great, then across from there, you have these great movie theater seats. They do recline just like that. And you have your TV lift right above there. Great. That is a huge 49 inch television. Over here, the dinette area. Oh, so uh, you still get a fireplace in this RV, which is great. There's also a TV right there because you can never have enough TVs. I like this dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. Also, you have this nice backing so you can sit here and relax while driving down the road. There's also seat belts here. Then throughout the whole coach, you have these nice MCD blinds, for slow rise. And did I mention there's frameless dual pane windows on the outside? Yes, frameless dual pane windows. Coming around in the kitchen area, you have solid surface countertops. Look at this cabinetry. Here's what's great about Thor. This is the same cabinetry that they use in their high-end Tuscany brand. Solid surface countertop, countertop extender if you need a little bit more. But it still converts into a drawer. Look at all these remotes. A little bit more storage there. 
Then you have a nice double sink. Look at that trash. That's presentable. I'll take that out later. Induction cooktop. And look at this beautiful microwave convection oven. And since there's no oven, a lot more storage right here. And there is a storage coat rack, spice rack thing right here. This is your residential refrigerator. Just like that. Oh my God, and it's running. Oh, because it works off electric. Check out this bathroom. Of course, you have a nice porcelain toilet. Here's your tankless instant hot water heater. Smell that? Of course you don't. With the 360 siphon RV cap. Whatever that means, it has it. Huh, not me after Mission Barbecue, huh, Jen? <laughs> and then look at this. You have a great big nice size i believe this is a 24 by 36 shower very very comfortable this right here is called the multiplex wiring system and it has all your slide outs and everything your auto gen start on the generator and everything Finishing up with the bedroom, you have a nice king size bed. The tilt of view, it does go up. Hey Mike, almost done. Gonna hurry up. <laughs> Going down the bottom of the hill. All right. It does come standard with a stackable washer dryer, just like that. There you go. A little bit more storage. You have a TV in the bedroom that does lift up for even more storage drawers right there and a little bit more storage back there great so that is the palazzo the 2019 37.4 now before you leave even though this unit sold you know the rules I'm still going to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it what should I do first three things you dislike okay dislike one, out it. Now remember folks, we are a real dealership. Things gotta get done. No air horn. Part of the best, the best part about a diesel pusher is using that air horn. That's one. The second thing, let me um, let me get this closed. Second thing I'm not a huge fan of is how tight this walkway is when the slide outs closed. But I understand it's pro and con because once you're parked, you have a lot more living space. And then the final thing I'm not a huge fan of, since this is considered an entry level diesel, they made the stackable washer dryer standard, which bumps up the price a couple thousand dollars. Um, as a salesman, I don't like that. I would have rather had it be an option where you can add on to the price because since it's a standard, you can't take it away from the price. Now, the three things I love about this is, one, the floor plan, the look, the price. That's one. Two, I love the exterior storage about it, again. And then three to finish it all up. Well, another thing, two awnings. That, that's a really big plus. I don't like when they only have the one awning. So two armless awnings. And then three, the new design of the front cap. It looks absolutely incredible. I feel like this is probably the biggest improvement that the Palazzo made this year. But that wraps it up.
Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, send me an email, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you haven't already, hit that circle button to subscribe. And if you want to see other comparable diesel motorhomes that's going to compete with the Palazzo, I will have videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.